Hey guys, um, I'm just, I thought I'd do a video of how to make a punk stick, um, for lighting fuses, if you're lighting them, a bunch of stuff, and you don't want to drain your lighter fluid or whatever, if you, it's a thing that smolders with a, um, ash or coal at the end, and it's hot enough to light the fuse. You can buy them at a fireworks store, but I make my own just for preference, for whatever, but... It's not really a punk stick. It's more of something that just... My homemade thing is more of just this thing that smolders for a while. It's not as good as a punk stick. You gotta relight it once or twice. But, whatever. So, for this project, all you're gonna need is some cardboard. Thin, thin papery cardboard. And some tissue, shredded... You're gonna, you can just shred it up, and glue, and a Q-tip. So, um, here, I'll start going over it in a minute. I would suggest to use a strong glue that you don't, because you have to roll it up into a tube, and you, you don't want to hold it, because with Elmer's, see, that comes undone. So, here's how to make it. So, I already got one started. As you can see, I got... It comes off of one... You don't have to use it. Anything cardboard works, but... This is one of those... Warmer... Um... Hot... Guard things on... A coffee cup. And took a piece of it... And rolled... Shredded tissue paper into it. And... So, I'm gonna take... Gorilla Glue the q-tip and spread it in there and roll it up so in it small tissue doesn't burn it just smolders for a long time but like I said don't get all pissed off if you have to relight it every here and there at least you're not using your lighter for every single thing so like I said I'll be using this gorilla glue I tried to make one with Elmer's but it just didn't work out. I gotta get that glue all stuff pretty soon. So, after you've rolled it up, roll it up tightly too. And, um, put a little glue on your Q-tip. And just smear it where you want to glue it down. Just like that, see? Um... Sorry, my camera just fell over. Put a little more glue on the Q-tip. Sorry, it's kind of hard. I'm kind of reaching over my camera here. It's just not at the best of all angles to do this. So, keep on smearing the glue on there. And, yeah. There you go. Now, just take a nice little... Little amount and just put it on there. That's too much, but... Then just put some on this outside part. And just keep on spreading that and just hold that. Here I might actually need a little more. Ah, shit, too much. Um, yeah. So try not to use too much, but if you do, you do. Not a big deal. Now I gotta hold this for a while, or I actually put it under something and keep it in tube form. Gotta throw this out. So, yeah, now I'm going to put this under something. Uh, I'm going to put it under my toolbox. So let it sit there and do whatever it needs to. Um, yeah. Very simple. Cheap. Easy to make. So I would suggest to make a bunch of them. Um, so, yeah, and I'm just telling you, when you use this stuff right here, if you do, it doesn't have to be Gorilla, it can be any glue, but if you use this stuff right here, that thing's never coming apart. Alright, I'll see ya.